turnovers, bad penalties. For what? You see him right there. You, you can't do it. What do they say? The guy that retaliates is usually the one that gets caught. Defense. Slayton. Slips one tackle, holds on to the football very carefully. And he was covering it up, wasn't he? Yep. That'll bring up third down. And it looks like a penalty flag has come out. This one, they say Richie Incognito. Richie's on the ground right there. He comes up, he gets a shot in. You can see Vandenbosch comes over. I thought that was the flag going to be on Vandenbosch, but the officials were able to see the first hit. Here's now a wrestling flag. Oh, here we're going to start off big time. This is now escalating the full cap scale uh, fisticuff. Oh, punches thrown. That was Jonathan Orr, or Michael Orr, threw a punch. Better just hope he stays in the game here. Michael Orr, a very, very good left tackle for the Ravens. Is that Robert Smith that was in the middle of it for the Browns? Maybe a few guys were in the middle of it. Well, Robert Smith is the one. That Ball in trouble on third and 20. Down he goes. Back at the 20 yard line. Ray Edwards with the sack. And then a late shove to the left guard, Rob Sims. Darren Allen now involved with the quarterback, Sean Hill. This guy's Sean Hill getting in there, huh? You don't want to mess with Ray Edwards. He's been taking boxing lessons. Yeah. Yeah, you see Brett Favre. Look at Brett. <laughs> Go get him, guys. Right behind everybody. That's a smart veteran right there, Darrell. No, that's the first smile you see from him all day, though. Here's what Carl Sheffers was alluding to. Jacob Lacey, Ooh. Jackson. <laughs> There's a lot of action going on there. Yeah. Now you'll see here, I mean, how many times we've we seen this? He's throwing it, it kind of goes forward, gets knocked loose, no question. There was no question it was not an empty handed or a fumble. And then all this happens after the play's over. So Buffalo will get an opportunity to get it back. Two. Well, Roddy makes the catch. Now Bartell gives him a little push. They're going to stand up. They're jawing. They're talking. Now Roddy's going to say something and throw his right arm up right yeah. there. And that's where he hits Ronald Bartell. Got to have Bartell, though. I don't, I don't know if I want to match up with Roddy White. I know. Again. So EJ Biggers has to play big with a keep to leave on the sideline and a loss of three on the play. And a flag goes down. More pushing and shoving going on. Be interesting to see who actually gets flagged on this one. If Atlanta's fortunate. This one accepted. And a couple of tough weeks here for Dimitri Patterson. Mm. And all you can see it was Patterson who kind of threw the punch yep. at the tail end. And give Percy Harvin credit. That was a good block. He stayed after him the whole time. And you know Patterson's frustrated. Game. Nolan Carroll was there to meet him and then got some help. And pushing and shoving afterwards. Flag comes out. So something broke out after the play was whistled dead right near the goal line. Yeah, it was the big guys too. And they are now backed up to the 21 yard line. Well, it was Langford and McNeil and uh, Clary was just coming in to help his buddy out. Since it was a dead ball foul, that's third down. Shooting yourself in the foot. You just can't do it. You don't like the Saints, they don't like you. You can't hurt your foot from the 39. But this is Lynch. And one of the things that we wanted to keep an eye on today, Dan, is how well Tavares Jackson can throw the football. And a little chippiness in the middle of the line. Don't keep pressing the issue. There's no flags thrown yet. Well, there it goes. There it goes. Man, you, you get through that much pushing and shoving without a flag. Everybody ought to take a deep breath and step in. Tonight, a huge disappointment. He was cut and signed by the Jets. Yeah, Aaron Maven is up against his former teammates. You see the frustration. Tight man to man coverage, so they just. Penalties. Neither guy wanting to give up an inch.
<laughs> Couple of love taps. Back to the ground game. And more. That head on by Aaron Henderson as Brown is stopped and then some pushing and shoving. It looks like number 54, Jasper Brinkley, down at the bottom of that pile. And there is a flag down, and Antoine Winfield saying it's against the other guys. Blacko with time, going to throw over the middle, intercepted. Picked off by D'Amico Ryan. And Ryan is going to be whistled down at his own 44-yard line. Oh, now we've got, we've got another little fracas going on. And there goes the flag. And the fracas continues. You and I were talking at halftime, Dan, that this could get a little ugly. Well, I mentioned if the we, officials didn't get a handle. I thought we'd move past it, but apparently it's uh, in the middle of that. Now there's Ry Rice, number 27. Oh, and he comes in from behind and runs right into the back and almost looked like he stuck his helmet out and tried to almost a little headbutt. Yeah, and Logan Mankins got a little bit of a late block and then Mankins just backed off and said, what? The last 26 possessions. Pryor lost it to the end zone. Intended for Streeter, who was well covered. Kaysen was with him step for step. Now we've got a tussle going on. And a marker is down as well. Yeah, it's Mike Goodson, the running back, who stepped in on pass protection that got tangled up. And now we've got multiple flags all over the field. The first flag was in the end zone for pass interference. As Rod Streeter tried to go up and catch that football. And then in the backfield after the play was over, and here's and there you see it. He's got his hands up and the needle guys wants to let go. That's Takeo Spikes, who's a, a guy who's played over a decade as a middle linebacker. Neither one of those guys is is number 51 and number 25 have been disqualified. Wow. You can see Takeo yeah, Spikes you gotta, is very you gotta, unhappy. You got to calm down. And I'm surprised that those guys got ejected because usually you have to throw a punch or do something like that to get ejected. Now Takeo Spikes might add to it. And I, and I agree with both players. Now that's a tussle, no question they lost their tempers, but I didn't see any ejectionable, ejectable offense. Talking to Spikes. And, I, and to Keo Spikes, in his 12th year, he doesn't get too many more seasons to have one end in this manner. And I don't, and I really didn't see anything on the replay that warranted an ejection, unless one of them made contact with an official in the melee or something like that. And Takeo Spikes may not cool down till March. Leader of the San Diego defense, and again was trying to reach 100 tackles for the season for the 12th time in his 15-year career. Goodson goes off fairly quietly. Let's pick up what happened. Well, that's the beginning of it right there. And it's just, you know, nobody's going to give up. And, and see, I don't nobody's think, uh, throwing Spikes, punches. Yeah, Spikes nope. was not being aggressive there. Neither one of them. I mean, they're both pushing each other on the face mat. And right there, okay, I don't see why anybody got ejected because of this. I mean, I can see why they, if they're not going to let up, then you throw the flag and they offset. Okay, so why did anybody get ejected there, let alone both guys? I think that's an overreaction by the officials. So Keo trying to get the crowd fired up as if that's on the head. Looks like ahead of had a handful of Roddy White's face mask and then a shove. Roddy White came back in. Five accepted penalty. Third and 14. 
Denver with a 7-0 lead under six minutes to go here in the first. Manning to the sideline, and Moreno is stood up. Four yards, and it's a pushing and shoving after the play between Branch and Franklin. Now the Bronco offensive linemen don't like the way their quarterback is being treated here in the first quarter. Manning's been uh, knocked around, and now a flag is thrown for personal foul. So Manning hit for the fifth time. And right from the start, it was Tyron Matthew. You just can't do this in the end zone. He throws him down. That's valuable field goal, field position. Anquan Bolden says that's not that's not right, young man. That was some drive. 12, the ball up to Detroit, 27. Giovanni Bernard returns, takes the handoff. Worked his way to the 20. He refuses to go down. Giovanni Bernard is 5'9", listed at 5'9". <laughs> 208 pounds, rookie out of North Carolina, second round draft. The penalty marker is tossed. Gresham of Cincinnati. Well, you've got to, you've got to do a better job. I mean, Jermaine Gresham's a, a veteran. There's the official. Patriots rush five. Newton throws high. What a grab by Smith. First down Carolina at the 34 as he and Tlaib get started and go at it. And company comes to see what's going on. I'm surprised it took this long. This started a long time ago when Tlaib was playing with Tampa. For the, the deadline is contract over after this season. Fitzpatrick again with pressure, forcing him out of the pocket, has nowhere to go. And now flags come flying, late flags. Three flags on the field. Like Justin Hunter, Mike Jenkins grabbing each other's face mask. Huh? Carson Palmer gets time. And the pass is caught by Jim Dway, the big tight end. And uh, let's see if he held on to it. Rams say he did. And now the scuffles begins. And a flag goes down. So it didn't take long between these play teams, the tempers flaring of these division rivals. It was Dunbar and Darren. Lynch the carry. There's room for Marshawn Lynch. But he's shoved back. Tremaine Johnson, even with a helmet coming off. Here comes a flag. Pete Carroll getting into it over there, trying to separate guys. Well, once Tremaine Johnson's helmet came off, Marshawn Lynch has got to let go of his face. I don't know if the whistle had blown at that point. Now, remember, if the ball carrier, the helmet comes off, the play's dead right away, but... Uh-oh, hold on a minute. Now, flags are everywhere as Chris Clark is exchanging some words and shoves with Dontari Poe. Heads hanging on the sideline, but this head slammed into the helmet of Paul Warlow. That one might make the wallet a little bit lighter here. A third and 14. Pressure coming. Breezes down. Captain Munderland flying in and Breeze shoves him back. And here comes a flag. I don't think Drew Brees liked, or he took exception to Captain Munderland dumping him after he's sacked Personal here. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 23 defense, driving the quarterback into the ground. 15-yard penalty, first down. Take another look at what transpired after the play. 
Yeah, obviously, a lot of. Oh, he got up and just shoved him. At the I conclusion of the play, the personal foul. They go five wide. Pass underneath, caught by Justin Brown. He'll take it to the 25 yard line. Well, there we go. Keekley goes down. Now we got a little action between DeCastro and Keekley. Flag comes in. That'll stop the clock at 24. Well, Keekley with a little extracurricular at the end of that, I think, as much as anything, to try and keep him from getting up and just keep that clock running. Edelman to the left. Brady still has it and now has to throw it away. And look at all the flags that are out now. Antoine Barnes kind of blew up the play for that uh, Patriot offense. Barnes came barreling in. Bell, big hole. Short of the first down, it appears. And whatever happened in the bye week, the Saints defense certainly looks a little bit better than what we've seen through the course of the first few games. Now we have a whistle and some extra shoving going on. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense number 76. Throw the head. 15 yard penalty. Being a dummy after the play is not one way to do it. Nakeem Hicks, who's been playing better, is no better than this. A delay handoff. Mark Ingram gets back across the 30. DeAndre Lovey brought him down. And look at this, some extra of the play. So here, Whitehead, here comes a flag. And they're still reaching and grabbing. Sean Payton in there talking to some of the Lions players. The first down. Well, they say it's not over until the whistle, right? Well, it was Graham huh. right there. <laughs> T.J. Graham. Actually, yeah, knocked over photographer. It's like a boxing match. Him and Gilmore over there wrestling. Stone, a third straight week. Ten different players have gotten starts along the line. That's a nice throw, just sitting down in a hole in that zone defense, and then coming in and shoving. Roman Harper looked like Anton Smith, and Smith may get the penalty. You talked about this last week, David. We'll wait and see. Ingram inside the 20, and run out of bounds inside the 10, down to the seven-yard line. And Taylor doing some pushing and shoving down there along the sideline for Joe Morgan. Get in there and get people separated, but now a few more of them get tangled up. Officials handled that beautifully. Let's see what happens here. Looks like Mitchell grabs a hold of Ingram's face mask. Then the hit by Taylor. And then Robinson came in. Morgan shoving Taylor. Head butt the other way. Bushy 75. Way behind the action. Starts with his gunner. They're offsetting dead ball personal fouls on both teams. All right, here we go. It is Asiata. And he is in. We are tied at 28. And now more pushing and shoving. Flags are thrown. And we had this last week in the Giant game where we had penalties at the end of a play. The kickoff was at the 25. And they were able to execute an onside kick. The return team's 25. <laughs> Just your traditional lead there to the weak side. He's broken the plane and then tempers flare right here. Olivier Vernon kind of caught on top of Matt Asiata. Of the extra point, number 50, personal foul, defense, open handed hit to the face. This 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Well, as you mentioned, Vikings, or excuse me, the Dolphins, the least penalized team in the league. Look at this. First, the replay.
We got a lot going on, Kev, but what I'll go back to, you've got Steven Jackson in your backfield. He's 245 pounds, third and one, run behind this offensive line that's been doing well instead of this flip play, trick play. After the play, personal foul, offense number 84, 15-yard penalty, third down. I go back to Sean Payton, and Pam said this in her report, that a game like this is about energy and emotion. He's throwing again. Charles. Penalty marker down as Charles is wrapped up at about the 33-yard line. And a scuffle. And another flag flies. Inside the tent, right here. With Danny Amendola ripping that helmet off, and that'll get you a penalty flag every time. Steve McClendon right in the middle of it as penalty markers fly. Charkendrick West is in there for the Chiefs. While the play was happening on the far side of the field, there was some additional hitting on the near side. Our referee today is Walt Coleman. But then on the near side of the field, here's Charkendrick West going at it with a much bigger dude. <laughs> James Harrison, that, if you're going to pick all the all the guys in the play yard, in the playground that you're going to go after, that's uh, James Harrison's probably not the one that you want to go after. His team for the rest of the way. And he'll throw. And that is complete across the 25 to about the 27-yard line. A little extra added pushing and shoving. On the sideline, A.J. Green taking offense. Well, and you wonder if this flag coming in is going to be the something Eric Winston said to the official as he was going off the field. D'Angelo Williams. To about the three. And a little extra pushing and shoving, and penalty markers fly. Well, it started with Fontes perfect, and it looks like that's how I, for one, am shocked. That's, yeah. <laughs> And still on the ground and still scuffling. Well, now it's the Castro and Gilberry, it looks like. There you see him right there with Ray Malaluga. When you're getting handled right here, you got to hold your composure. Football's a humbling game. There's many times where I got my rear end kicked, and I don't need to do that. You want that battle, I'll be coming back. Big day for kick returns, but we're going to have one now. White. A nice run back to the 29. Let's bring in Gene Steratore on that offensive pass interference on the two-point attempt. After we settle this little scuffle and a flag. Oh, he just hit the official. That'll be an ejection. There's going to be a lot of penalties on this one. I saw like five different things that are all should be flagged. It's Galden, who at one point, I'm not sure he knew what he was doing, but he shoved the official.